All right, we are looking at uh, the case study of urban development. This is New York, uh, testing this software to see well, uh, how well it can be able to record the content we need. All right, uh, <clears throat> we are modeling how a teacher can be able to teach senior two class uh, when you're covering a subject like New York. Okay, um, what are our learning outcomes? Here we are suggesting that by the end of the lesson, the student should be able to explain the problems facing New York as a city and should also be able to describe the solutions which can be offered to solve the problems mentioned. And now the lesson framework appears here. I think you can see it clearly. And then we continue to look at uh, the best thing that you can do is to use photographs while teaching students and also posing questions for them to, to answer. Then we now go to look at the photos, uh, we look at the uh, photo panorama, we need to go there, we move, uh, we check to Chrome, we move to where the photos are, find that's a map of New York, and then that is a, a video showing the New York as a city, and um, we will now look at the problems, we move further to identify them, we shall outline. We look at um, the real problems there. We now go to another photo showing the fog in New York, um, the video of fog in New York. Great. Uh, we move further to look at the slums, a uh, video of the slums here in the South Bronx. You see one slum, that's a slum, and then this is a slum of Uganda or East Africa. And then we look at uh, the problem facing New York, limited space. Can see the limited space, but they solve this by constructing a skyscrapers, traffic jam. It is solved by this serious traffic jam, solved by um, construction of nice roads. Let's stop there. In the next video, we shall be doing the real one.